When you play games like Temple Run, Candy Crush, Subway Surfer and many more, you may think, how did they make such controls where when you swipe on the screen, something happens? So to answer that, I made a project that you can download in the link in the description and follow along on how to make swipe controls in UAE. Let's get started. Now in this project, click play and you can see that when you press A or D key, the player moves left or right and when you press the space key, the player jumps. So by the end of this video, the player will move left or right when you swipe left or right and jump when you swipe up. To do that, let's go to our player control script. And here, this value will help us move our player. This is the reference to our player's physics. This calls every function that makes our player move. This function makes our player move and this function helps our player flip. And if you want to know how to make player flip, watch this video. And at the end, this makes our player jump. Now here are two other functions. One is swipe test and the other is swipe control. The swipe test function will test if our swipe is actual swipe or not. If our swipe is a legit swipe, then this code will be executed and then we can control our player. So to do all of this, First of all, let's see what is a swipe. So a swipe is fast and fairly long enough movement of your finger from one position of your screen to another. So by definition, it has to be fairly long and fast, which means if it is not fast enough or it is kind of short, then it's not a swipe. That means things like this won't happen. To meet this criteria, we have to first write public float max swipe time and public float min swipe distance. These two will help check if our swipe is an actual swipe or not. Now we also need to calculate how long our swipe is and how long it took. So write private float swipe start time and private float swipe end time. And then write private vector 2 start swipe position and private vector 2 end swipe position. Now these will help us know the start and the end time as well as the start and the end position of our swipe. Now in this swipe test function, we need to know if user is touching on the screen or not. So write input.touch count is greater than zero, which means player is touching the screen. Then touch touch is equal to input.get touch zero. This will make the touch into an input value. Now we will use touch face to check what is our swipe. So if you want to know what is touch face in detail, then click in the link in the description. And also if you want to know how to make a simple touch control, then click in the card above. Now there are two phases of our touch. One is when you start touching the screen and another is when you stop touching the screen. So we are going to use touch face dot start in and touch face dot end in. This touch face dot started will be true when we start touching the screen and this touch face dot ended will be true when we stop touching the screen. So here, right, if touch dot face is equal to touch face dot started and inside the bracket right start swipe time which is equal to time dot time and start swipe position which is equal to touch dot position. Now we have our start position and start time. Now we need our end position and end time. So right, else if touch dot face is equal to touch face dot ended and then write end swipe time is equal to time dot time and end swipe position is equal to touch dot position and we need to calculate how long our swipe is and how long it took so first of all at the top we need two more values private float swipe time and private float swipe length now in this else if statement right swipe time is equal to end swipe time minus start swipe time this will calculate how long our swipe took and then write swipe length is equal to inside a bracket end swipe position minus start swipe position and outside a bracket dot magnitude. This will calculate how long our swipe is in length. Now finally write if swipe time is less than max time because we want our swipe to be fast and then write and swipe length is greater than minimum swipe length because we want it to be fairly long. Then inside the bracket, write swipe control. Now, if these two conditions will be true, then our computer will know what exactly is a swipe and now we can use that as an input. So in the swipe control function, we have to tell the computer what is a vertical swipe and what is a horizontal swipe. To do that, first of all, we need to write vector two distance is equal to end swipe position minus start swipe position. This will tell us which direction our swipe is going to. 
and write float x distance is equal to math app dot abs distance dot x and float y distance is equal to math app dot abs distance dot y we're doing this because let's say you swipe up that means your x distance on the screen is let's say zero and y is let's say five that means your y distance is greater than x distance and computer will think that it is a vertical swipe but let's say you swipe down that means your x distance will be zero and your y distance will be minus five now your x distance is actually greater than your y distance which means even when you swipe down which is a vertical swipe your computer will think you have done a horizontal swipe meaning you have swiped left or right so to fix that we need to only have positive value that's why we use math app dot abs which means math app dot absolute value so this math app dot abs will only give positive value if x distance and y distance is negative then it will make it a positive value and then give you a positive value so now even if you swipe down computer will know that it's a vertical swipe now write if x distance is greater than y distance and inside the bracket write if distance dot x is greater than zero and facing right then inside this bracket write flip and move now this will make our player flip and move on the right side and then write else if distance dot x is less than zero and facing right then in the curly bracket write flip and move so now when you swipe on the left or right side of your screen then player will move left or right side now let's try out our swipe controls in our game but before that let's set up our max swipe time to 0.5 seconds because we don't want our swipe to be longer than 0.5 seconds and our minimum swipe distance to like 50 pixels because we don't want our swipe to be smaller than 50 pixels and after that i will connect it to my phone with unity remote and if you want to know how to make unity remote properly work on your computer then comment down below so let's hit play and you can see when I swipe left or right, the player moves left or right. Now let's make player jump. So right here, else if y distance is greater than x distance and inside the bracket right, if distance dot y is greater than zero, which means we are swiping up, then inside this bracket, copy this code from this function, which makes the player jump and paste it here. This will make our player jump. And also write else if distance dot y is less than zero which means you're swiping down and inside bracket write debug dot log swiping down this is not necessary for our game but i want to show you all the swipes are working and now if you play you can see when you swipe left or right the player goes left or right when you swipe up the player jumps and when you swipe down it prints swiping down So this is all for this video. Please tell me in the comment section below if you didn't understand something and also tell me what game you are making this touch control and swipe control for and I will see you in the next video. Like, share and subscribe, alright? Thank you.